Pterodactyl here. Today I want to tell you about the Kirk Engines Transdenser 2. Now you're probably thinking, what? what's a Transdenser 2? It's a transistorized condenser for these old K-series crawler engines. And what it does is it eliminates or takes the place of the condenser and it makes it a transistorized condenser. What's the difference, Terrell? Why, why that? What's the, what's the big deal about that? Well, what it is is they call it a point saver. And what it does is it lowers the amperage that goes to the points from about two amps to milliamps, which means like next to nothing amps. You ever notice on these K-series engines how the points arc? How they spark and they arc real bad? And it burns the points out quick. Well, Kirk, Captain, the Captain Kirk, over there at Kirk Engines, made this transdenser. And now the points don't act, arc at all. And what it does is it virtually makes the points last forever. It's like a points saver. And it's real neat. I like it. I've put a couple of them on some of my projects that I've had. It makes them start easier and it seemed like it has more power because we were using Snowzilla. I don't know for some of you, if you remember, we were using Snowzilla when we had that snowstorm and it was running kind of crappy. And I haven't tuned it up in a while, so I brought it in the shop and pulled the points cover and the points were all shot. So I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the captain and I'm gonna get me a transdenser because this thing is like right out of Star Trek. And I put it on, I put in a new set of points and man, a lot of power, and like I said, it starts a lot easier. It's even got its own built-in timing light in there. So watch when I start it. When you buy one of these transdensers, it comes with a full set of instructions, but I'm gonna explain it pretty quickly to you. So you can see how simple it is to hook up. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to test the ohms that are in your coil because it has to be between three and six ohms. If, if you're not in that range, you're going to ruin this transdenser. So you do that with a voltmeter. You go across the positive and negative on the coil and you read the ohms. Now, my coil was 3.8 ohms, so it fell right in that range. And then you simply get rid of the old condenser. You can use the old clamp over, slide it in there. This red wire is the power wire off the transdenser, which goes to the positive side of the coil where your juice comes in to power the coil. And then the other black wire here that comes out of the transdenser goes to the negative side of the coil, and then Captain Kirk gives you a brand new wire to run from the tab on the transdenser to the wire that comes from the points. So here's the wire that comes from the points. This is the new wire that the captain gives you with it. That simple. But it has to be grounded. The, the, Transdenser's got to be in this, in this clamp, which is grounded to the co to the coil here. So you got to have that. But that's all there is: positive, negative, and then this goes to the points. And then you have to time it. And you do that by opening and closing the points through this window here. So in that window, there's a mark on the flywheel and there's a line on this casting plate back here. And what you do is you line up that mark with the mark on the flywheel through that little window and then you open and close the points until that light just comes on, until it just breaks it. It explains all of that in the instructions. That's probably the hardest part is just getting the timing right. And then once you do that, hit the key and as Elkin says, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. That thing is pretty neat, man. Like I said, if, you, if you've got these old crawlers 
and you want to keep them running and you're going through points and stuff because I know this ignition system on here is kind of crappy you need to go to Kirk Engines Google Kirk Engines it'll take you to his website and you can buy these transdensers I highly recommend you buy one they are a point saver boy yeah yeah boy point saver get a hold of the captain tell him to beam me up a couple transdensers Woo! Kirk Engine transdensers I highly recommend them so subscribe to this YouTube channel Terrell fixes all follow me with your Kroller K-Series engines on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some Carol apparel. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Woo!